Hi, uh, welcome to Fright First. Thank you very much, lovely to be here. So, uh, do you just want to introduce yourself to everyone? Yeah, sure. My name's Jay Taylor and I play Tony in the film. So, Tony, what kind of a guy is Tony? He's complicated. Complicated? We all yeah. like complicated. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah he's a lot. He's, a, he's been through a lot. You know, he's, uh, he's suffered a lot. He's been through a lot of that stuff. But he's also an enigma, so we don't really know that much about him at the beginning of the film. Um, but more is revealed as the film goes on. So tell us a little bit about the storyline without telling us about the storyline. Well, essentially, uh, it's, a, it's a homecoming story. So you, you, the, the film kind of operates in two different timelines. There's, there's kind of the, the period when, when Evie and Tony uh, are children and yep. something happens. And then essentially uh, the, the film then transports to about 20 years later. Okay. And you see them living their life as adults dealing with the fallout of what happened when they were kids and then they essentially are brought back together and that's what forms the sort of the meat of the film and then you get these flashbacks to what happened when they were kids and you see the sort of results of of that trauma it sounds very complicated it is. Um, but also very exciting have you seen the movie yet yeah i saw it last night for the first time yeah and are you happy with the way it came out yeah i mean really happy i mean i hate watching myself on screen <laughs> You know, I detest it, but I, you know it's brilliant, and I think the you know the amount of work that everyone's put into this film from you know every single person just wanted to do the best they could with you know limited resources. It's not a big budget film, and I think the results are pretty amazing. And uh, was it on the big screen that you saw it last night? No, it was uh, it was in a sort of screening room in a hotel, but it was uh, it was very nice and nice to nice to see it. So it has yet to be shown to the fans. Yeah, this is the this is the premiere. So this is the world premiere. Yeah. Are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> nervous about seeing my face on a big screen apart from anything else. But no, I'm excited as well. It's great. Do you think the audience are going to receive it well, or do you think they're going to be some mixed? No, I think I think it's a. Uh, the thing is, it what's it keeps you guessing this film, and I think that's really important for the, from an audience perspective. Just when you sort of lulls you into a full sense of security about things, and I think there's lots of twists, and I think you know, I think it really holds up. So I think it's yeah, I think it's exciting and it's scary, but it's also it's I think hopefully moving as well. Okay, nice. Uh, so Fright Fest, is this your first time here at Fright Fest? It is my first Fright Fest. We've got another Fright Fest virgin, Fright everybody. Fest virgin, yeah. <laughs> have you been? Uh, have you? Has it met your expectations? Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, it's it's amazing, and to, I've met some of the guys, you know, the people running it, and the organisers, and it's incredible, and it's amazing that it's been going, you know, for for a while now, and it seems to have such a such a following, so it's amazing to be a part of it. Are you going to hang around for anybody else's movies this weekend? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I really was excited to see Neil Blomkamp's film. I think I might have missed that already, but like, I'm gonna. I really wanted to try and see that film. I'm a big fan of his work. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and see some films while I'm around. Yeah. Nice. Well, hopefully I'll catch up with you later. But thank you so much for having a chat thank with you. me. Pleasure. Thank Thanks you. very much.